Welcome back for the one and the only Ruby Gamer, and today we are going to rank all the Pixar films from worst to best. So, normally this will normally say 20. With the release of Incredibles 2 happening on Friday. However, I'm only doing it for the 1995's Toy Story all the way up to the 19th film, Coco. So coming at number 19, we get... Apparently, A Buzz Life. Now, let me tell you why A Buzz Life came in the 19th place in the Pixar Universe. Um, the guy who plays Sam did come back and play one of the voices in A Buzz Life. But that's not the problem. Um, A Buzz Life just didn't do it well for me. A Buzz Life was so flat that when I was watching it for the 13th time, I think I, I think I watched A Buzz Life like 13 times. And it wasn't why I remembered it. Now, I did like the cameo that they did in Toy Story 2, which we ran Toy Story 2 like way higher because of this cameo that they had for A Buzz Life. Fortunately, we're not, thankfully, we're not going to get A Buzz Life sequel. So we just keep with the original. If you guys like a Buzz Life, this is these are just my personal opinions. But Buzz Life, my personal opinion, was far the best, the worst Pixar film ever. Coming to number eighteen, we get up. Now let me tell you why Up came in number 18 instead of any of the other Pixar films out there. And actually, technically, Up would have been higher, lower on the list. It would have actually been at number 19 if it wasn't for some of the characters that they decided to put in Up. Storyline, I love the storyline in Up. I love the characters, but just off and on, it just got a little... Not as good as the other Pixar films I have seen. Now, when we get to my, my, my top five films, that was impossible to pick out my top five. We finally nailed them down. And here, and so there's so number 18 is up. And it would have been lower, it would have actually been higher if it wasn't for. the villain in it. That's why I got so on the list in this list. Now coming in at number 17 Monsters University. The main reason why Monsters University came in at number 17 is because to me Monsters University would have been way up there in the list. It would have probably been in my top 10 if it wasn't for the way they released the Monsters series. Um, some of the characters from Monsters Inc. was not in Monsters University, which does make sense. But this is like a prequel to the Monsters Inc. franchise, but they just called it uh, Monsters University. In Monsters University, we actually get to see the story of how Mike Wazowski and J.P. Sullivan first met. But while when I was watching Monsters Inc., I've heard that they heard and met in um, elementary or kindergarten or something like that in monster school. But then in Monster University, it says they let they met at the university known as a Monsters University, also known as MU. Now coming at number sixteen, we get Wally. Wally was. It got number 16 is because we get to see a new 
collection taken place, and that is by and large. By and large has been in multiple, and I mean multiple films throughout the Pixar universe. So that is why Wally made it in the 16th spot. Because of the way, and now I loved a lot of the robots in it. Eve and Wally, they're both good, fantastic robots. Um, it's not the fact that the robots were just so low. It's the fact that the captain didn't really. I didn't like the way they trashed the pizza plant truck in this one. I like that the junkyards. That's why I ranked it so low as I did. Well, that's because the way they, they put the pizza plant truck in this one and for an Easter egg. Okay, at number 15, we get Disney Pixar's Cars 2. I was actually considering ranking Cars 2 way up there. It would been like right after a buzz life. But then we got to see more of Mater. And we got to see some new characters that I really didn't care for. But Cars 2 was not as good as the other cars in the franchise. But I ranked it a little bit higher on the list because everybody says it's like the one of the worst films in the Pixar universe. I honestly don't think so. It's a good film for kids. And it's just, an off, just a really good film either way. But I think where most people are getting mad at Disney Pixar's Cars 2 is that we did not get to see a lot of Linda McQueen as we wanted to. Where Disney Pixar Cars 2 mainly focuses on Mater. Okay, now coming in number 14, we get Disney Pixar's Coco. Coco was going to be way up in the list if, for some reason, when I was watching it for the second time on Blu-ray, it wasn't as good as the first time watching it. I love the character of Miguel, Dante, and the way that he loves to be a musician, but yet his family only likes shoes because of something that happened to one of the family members. He left because of he had been wanted to be a musician, but then he decided to come back and something like that. Some, it's just a good Pixar film. It's the 19th Pixar film, so we know that 19th is not going to be number one. Now, coming to number 13, we get Ratatouille. Ratatouille was way better than Cars 2. That's actually why I ranked it way higher than Cars 2. I love the rat in this one. He was, like, the main character. Um, I just love the way that it was just, like, a whole different story. I never seen Pixar do it before, and it felt like a new route that I felt that Pixar was going to take with Ratatouille. I just keep hoping that maybe we'll get a Ratatouille sequel later on. Later on, so maybe we can just hopefully get a Ratatouille sequel. Um, the and I love the way that they portray the rat as he can able to cook. That's what did it so well in Ratatouille. And coming in at number 12, we get The Incredibles. Mr. Incredible, Mrs. Incredible, Dash, and Violet are so great. It's one reason it's as low as, as high as it is coming in at number 12 is because of Syndrome. Syndrome had an interesting story on why it became a villain, but... He didn't have more of a backstory told on why he was a villain. So that is why The Incredibles came at number 12. If it wasn't for Syndrome not having like an interesting backstory as the original wanted them to have, The Incredibles would have been way up in this list. It would have probably been in my top 10 films. Coming at number 11, we get... Disney Pixar's Cars. Disney presents a Pixar film, Cars. I love Cars. It's one of my greatest Pixar films there is out there. It's so low on this list because uh, 
and don't stick up today's quality. And the Easter, I love the way that they portrayed the Pizza Planet truck in it. Um, Owen Wilson does a great job of playing Adam McQueen. I love the way that he's really fast and it's a race car. So and it's an interesting story about racing. So if you guys don't like racing but you want to know what racing is kind of is, then I suggest that Disney Pixar's car is one of the best films for you. Coming in at number 10, we get The Good Dinosaur. The Good Dinosaur came in at number 10 for one reason, one reason only. Arleo was such a great dinosaur in the film that it's just why I ranked it so high as I did. It's because of Arleo. If it wasn't for Arleo being in this film, I've probably been ranking it so low on this list. You probably... Most people forgot forget about the good dinosaur. I haven't, so that's why I ranked it as high as it did for being number ten. Now coming at number nine, we get Finding Nemo. Finding one reason Finding Nemo came like way before Finding Dory was because the animation style they used for Finding Nemo it did not really feel like an under a sea adventure. So, so that's why I ranked it as low as I did, as high, but it was just so much more greater than the other films that's higher up. Now coming at number 8, we get, look at that, Finding Dory. Finding Dory, one reason Finding Dory came in at number 8 instead of in the top 5 was because it actually was like a, taking place right after Finding Nemo, and I we get to see more of Dory. We had a lot of her in Finding Nemo, so I was actually glad we got a Finding Dory, and it was an interesting sequel because normally Pixar don't do sequels all that much. And the, I mean, they do do some sequels. They did a Cars sequel, Monster sequel, and stuff like that. So we got Toy Story one, two, and three, and fourth one coming out. We got Incredibles one and two. Got Finding Nemo, Finding Dory, um, and just other films, Monsters Inc., Monsters University. So let's go on to the next one. Now, coming at number seven, we get Toy Story 3. One reason Toy Story 3 comes at number seven and up higher up in the list, it was actually going to be in the top five. Um, but I just didn't. The, it, they were pushing it to be more in 3D, and it didn't stick up as good as the other Toy Story films, so, because that, I ranked it at number 9. Now, coming, wait, no, actually, that was at number 7, wait, was it? That was number 7, that's why I ranked Toy Story 3 at number 7, is because of them pushing it to be more in 3D, and they they didn't really push it in 3D, just let the story play out. I think the story, Toy Story been a much better film. Toy Story 3, anyway. Now, coming in at number 6, we get Disney Pixar's Brave. Wow. Let me say for the record, I actually forgot that Pixar actually made Brave. I didn't watch it when it came out. So it's the 13th film in the Pixar series, and watching it for the very first time, it just blew me away. So Brave came at number 6 for that reason. I was expecting it to be as good as it was. That's why number 6 turned out to be Brave. I love Merida. The reason it's not in the top 5, it would have been in the top 5. It would have been at number 3. I should have been at number 2. If it wasn't for Disney turning Merida into a Disney princess. That's where it got all confused in that. And that's why I keep forgetting that Brave is part of Pixar. It's because Disney took Merida from Pixar's Brave and turned it into a Disney princess. That's why I keep forgetting that Brave is by Pixar. Now coming in at number 5, we are reaching the top 5. And it is... Disney Pixar's Cars 3. Cars 3 was just just blew me out of the water. 
And we, I got to see a new characters, got to see a school bus, this time it's Fritters. We get to see Lightning McQueen was losing speed against Jackson Storm. Jackson Storm portrayed like a mean but tough guy kind of guy. And it was just absolutely amazing. In fact, I just got done watching Cars 3 right before I filmed this one again. So that's why Cars 3 came in at number 5. Now coming at number 4, we get... Monsters, Inc. Remember how I said that Monster University was not one of the best films? And the spits are in the, in the sequels wise. But Monsters, Inc. was so interesting. Randy Randall was a villain. And so was Mr. Watermoose. And we got the child CIA. And it's just so interesting. We also got to see human characters like Boo. She really made the story. And I just love Monsters, Inc. That's why I came out at number four. And it's actually kind of weird that number four is the fourth film. So, yeah. Coming at number three, we get Inside Out. Inside Out was an interesting story. The reason it came, it would have been actually in number two if it wasn't for the clown in it. I think if they let out the clown, I think the movie would have done way better. Um, I know they did the clown to wake up Riley, except for that's why I put Toy Story 3 guys so low on its list because the clown, but they but the clown in Toy Story 3 was in there like way so many times. That I'm afraid of clowns, so yeah, that's why Inside Out came to number three. It's because of a clown being in it, and I am terrified. I mean, I'm terrified of clowns. Now, coming at number two, we get look at that the third film in the Toy Story, the second film in the Toy Story universe, Toy Story 2. Uh, we got to we got to meet Bullseye, we got to meet Jess, we got to meet the prospector. And we also got to see a meaner version of Buzz a lot year. So Toy Story 2 was amazing. It's about this toy collector that was trying to collect all the, the toys from Woody's Round to send them off to a toy museum in Japan. And Andy was just so well done in this movie. We also got to see new characters like Wheezy. I think Wheezy was in Toy Story no, Weezy was in the first one. Yeah, Weezy was in the first. No. Maybe Weezy was in Toy Story. Yeah. Weezy was in Toy Story 2. We got to see new characters. Um, Bo Peep. I don't think she was in Toy Story 2, if I'm mistaken. And let me know in the comments section, comment section down below. Now, coming at number one. Obviously, you all know what comes at number one by now. Disney Pixar's. Toy Story. The very first film in the Pixar universe ranked at number one. It was just portrayed a movie about friendship and Woody and Buzz were not too they were enemies at first, but then as time goes on, Woody and Buzz became friends and that's where we got the Toy Story universe. And as far as I think, I think without Toy Story, we would have no Pixar. Because Toy Story is what made Pixar making films. So if it wasn't for Toy Story, that's why I had to rank it so high in the list as I did. So thank you for Toy Story. We otherwise would not have 19 Pixar films. Number 20 coming out along the way in 21. So yeah. Now these are the movies that are coming soon to the list. I'm only gonna put them under coming soon is because I have not seen them yet and they're either coming out or they're just came out on Friday, coming out this Friday, and they are Incredibles 2 and Toy Story. I know for a fact right now at McDonald's they are giving out the McDonald's toys for Incredibles 2 and Toy Story. I heard a lot of rumors that I just don't want to get into it right now. So Toy Story 4 is coming. It's been confirmed. You can see there we get the logo. So Incredibles 2 and Toy Story 4. Uh, they, I'll be ranking them, I'll be ranking the films again right to Toy Story 4, gets released on Blu-ray. So 
So I, I'm going to get another one in 2020. For 2019. 2019. So we'll get another one next year. I reckon all the pits are fast from worst to best. We'll do it. We're on this to, to do it. To it. Incredibles 2 and Toy Story 4. Um, I heard a lot of good things about Incredibles 2. That's really good. I don't know. I really want to see it, but I just want to wait to put it on the right movie. I was just going to give a full length review on it. So anyway, thank you for watching for the one daily gamer. I'll see you guys next time.